Hi, you guys. I'm Mrs. Garcia, and today I want to talk about organization in terms of Google Classroom and what you can do to declutter your stream. So if you see, I'm going to show you, I'm actually in the student view right now. So let me go ahead and move my face down a little bit. And I'm in the, uh, like I said, the student view. And if you look on the stream right here, I have assignments that are showing. And then my teacher has their virtual classroom. This could also be agenda. I'm just trying to imagine yours, what yours looks like. And then there's other assignments here too. And sometimes I have found that this gets very confusing for students. My students had Chromebooks for about two years. We're going on our third year. And they would always say, because I wasn't very organized in the beginning in terms of, I didn't know how to use Google Classroom. So I would just post the assignments and I post my agenda on here and it would all go on the stream. And the stream is the first thing that students see when they open it up. And so sometimes they'd be like, oh, am I supposed to turn my assignment in here, which you can, but it's again, it doesn't show like, is this Monday? Was this for this week? What was it? And then there's announcements. So that was really confusing for my students. So I'm going to show you again how we can fix this to be a little bit more organized for your students. So I'm going to go to the teacher's view right here. OK, because I can actually move things around and do things. So now I'm on the teacher's view. So what I would really recommend doing is going up here to this little uh, gear icon and clicking that. And then we're going to go down and where it says general right here. Do you see the part where it says students can um, post and comment? All right. First off, I would recommend taking that off. The reason why I would recommend taking that off and putting only teachers can post or comment is because in the past, I've had students that will get on the stream and they'll post sometimes inappropriate things or they might post things like, hi, Mrs. Garcia, and like a bunch of other random things. And so you want to really limit that in terms of classroom management and stuff. So I'd really highly suggest turning that off. OK, so that's helpful. And then right here where it says classwork on the stream, I would recommend changing that. OK, and if you click this button, you can see you can go for the first one, which I would not recommend. It makes those classwork assignments even like bigger and like shows like how many people have uploaded. I wouldn't do that. I would go right here where it says hide notifications and it's not going to post every time you create an assignment. It's not going to post on your stream anymore. So let me show you what I mean. So we're going to go back. I'm going to click save. And we're going to look at our classroom now, our stream. So every time a student comes and we're just refreshing, I know it's already refreshed. This is what a student would see. They would say, hey. Oh, there's that virtual classroom. All right, I click there. There's my agenda on there. Or maybe this is just your agenda. And they see that and it's the first thing and they get to see every day what they're going to do. And they don't see all that extra classwork that's on there and they don't get confused. It just makes it more organized for your students. Now, um, you can see, though, when I go to the classwork section that I still have my assignments here. But now, you know, I was able to organize them. I added a topic. So I made this like maybe this work for this week and then they can see underneath it. And then when I have new weeks, I can again organize those as well. So this is just way more less confusing for your students. And so they get used to always coming to the classwork section every time to look for their work and to upload their work. They don't get confused. Should I go to the stream or what is this or what is that? It just makes it more organized for them. At least I feel. You can see I still have my virtual classroom always at the top, just so my students, if they you know want to see what the agenda is for the day, or I have other things in my virtual classroom, like the bell schedule and a bunch of stuff. It's like my one little stop shop for everything. Oh yeah, one other thing. Sometimes teachers get worried and they're like, but if I do that, if I turn off those notifications, can I still post announcements on the stream? Because that's what the stream is really used for, just to announce things. Like that's why it was announcing that you put a new assignment up. But again, it wasn't very organized. You can't. So right here where it says share something with your class, I would not post this. OK, uh, like normally I wouldn't post this. I always keep my virtual classroom up there. But if you want to post something else, I just want to show you it still works. Hi, students. OK, and I can click post. And you can see you can still post directly on the stream. But see, now it messes up my virtual classroom. I got to move it up. Google needs to get a button where they can literally, we can pin stuff to the top on the stream. That would be so awesome. Okay. I'm going to delete this because I don't want this, but you can see. All right. And if I go back to the student view and re refresh, same thing. The student can now see the post as well. See, it's right there as well. So I, that's what I would suggest to help you declutter your uh, stream. I hope that was helpful. Any other questions, feel free to leave in the comment. Thanks, you guys. Have a good day.